when they hate it, didn't think we make it How they break they neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hit yourself, you can look at me, look at me good with y'all all right so what are we getting into today today we're about to be going to a car me slash car show but i know y'all don't care about that that's what i'm about to be doing but the reason why we're vlogging today is because today is gonna be the first day that i actually really take out the lsa 350z and get some miles on this thing so uh yeah that's what we're doing i'm about to be linking up with q me and Q are going to be meeting up with his other vet friend. I should be driving the C6 because they're both going to be driving C6s. But I really want to drive the LSA 350Z because uh, I haven't really drove it much other than taking it from the shop to home. Um, also need to go to Janky Motorsports, have my boy Mike Janky weld on these two O2 bongs for me. That way I can get these dual wide bands hooked up. That way we can finally get this thing tuned. Um, the reason why we wanted to tune with the wide bands on is because my current narrow bands kind of be they they're kind of they kind of be weirding out and bugging out. So um, want to get the O2s on before we actually start tuning it. That way we can make sure everything is like good. Throw it on the dyno and monitor my uh, my AFRs with my wide band on top of the dyno's wide band, and then see how they correlate and measure up with the narrow bands. We want to just make sure everything is good because uh, the first tune will be on 91. And then after that, we're going to be switching over to flex fuel. I actually have the flex fuel sensor uh, wiring and everything here. <clears throat> so it's a lot to do to the 350Z, but today I just want to take it out, get it on a drive. Also got to go to Works Customs. We're finally putting the new A pillar on. So, so here go the gauge pod, flex fuel sensor. I need to throw this on right now. This is the new fitting for the, uh, for the supercharger. This is one of the water ports. Then I'm also running uh, this glow shift gauge right here. It's actually a boost gauge and a temperature gauge. So what I want to do is I want to run this sensor in line with the heat exchanger. That way I can monitor the water temperature at the supercharger. I want to see what the air temps are looking like uh, corresponding to the uh, water temps. As water temps go up, I want to see if the AITs are going to go up. So um, that's why I want to hook this up directly on the supercharger line. So boost gauge it also works as a water temp gauge so it's a dual gauge and then i'm going to have the innovate dual wide band gauges that way i can monitor what's going on on both banks so bam there we is That's what i need it dual innovate let's go unwrap the 350 get this thing warmed up have this thing all covered because i had just washed it when i had brought it home the pillar we're going to be replacing it's already color matched up Ooh, god damn all right let's load up all the stuff we need and i'm gonna replace this fitting real quick and then we're gonna uh we're gonna be heading out all right so this is the fitting i'm gonna be swapping you guys see we do have a fresh filter on this thing so let me get this off Where's that fitting? Get this new fitting on, and then we good to go. That's why. You know, my brother always say, there's no room for egos in the house that we build. And right now we build in heaven. So I invite you into this house. You're welcome. Turn this pump on. Okay. 
here a little bit. It's actually pretty quiet. Bam, we good. No leaks. Solid. All right, let's warm her up, head out. So literally, as I got ready to drive out the driveway, Nita pulled up and uh, she said that she wanted to go to the meet. So I'm gonna wait for her to get dressed. Who's calling me? It's for Aaron. What's up, Black? What's up, Black? What's cracking? What the fuck you doing? Getting ready to head out to that meet. Oh, uh, nigga, they already out there. They've been out there since six o'clock. So? That guy doing no, me. I'm just saying, that nigga Tay hit me up like, bro, he's in six o'clock. Well, me and Q about to head out there. All uh, right. You going or what? Yeah, I'm gonna take my shit. There's a couple of Fords out there. All right, well, I'll see you out there. Uh, All right. So, yeah, we're waiting for Nita to get ready right now, and then we're gonna be heading out. We're gonna meet up with Q, and then we jetting that way. Hopefully, we find parking. Supposedly, there's supposed to be a huge old school meet, so, yeah. Should be fun, man. I think y'all gonna see some dope cars. Plus, like I said, I got some work and stuff that needs to be done while I'm out there. So yeah, you know, today's just chilling, man. First day driving it. Hopefully, everything goes smooth. My cousin Yellow IQ. Shut up, fool. <laughs> <laughs> Finally got this thing back on the road. Uh, yeah, man. We both waiting for Whipple tunes. Yeah. Hey, hold on. Let me say something, man. Whipple, man. Where you at, baby? He already said he's going to get us in next week. Chill out. Okay. Checking everything. You know, it's the first real drive. I don't see no leaks. My filter didn't fall off. Nothing melted. <laughs> Looking good. So I've also had people ask me like, hey, what is that 
what is that sound when you when you move it? Sounds like the the throttle bearing or blah blah blah. Like nah, it's a race clutch, so it has a uh, ceramic disc and all that. So what happens is that it makes a little clutch chatter when you let it off. It's literally just clutch chatter. Man, look at the disrespect right here. He had food shop, TND repair, 677 for unleaded right now. Look at this, man, black power. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the ZR1 right here. Oh, yeah. I feel you can feel it. Yeah, I that's mean, protecting his paint. Like it's hella, it's, it's ceramic coated too, huh? Yeah. It's hella smooth. Yeah. I don't want to leave no fingerprints. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say that. I would have never. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, I can't tell. It's really clear wrapped. How long has it been clear wrapped? Ever since I like when I bought it in 2020, I just took it to a clear wrap. Hmm. Like, they clear wrapped the carbon too. Yeah, you can see like a little right here. Yeah. Dude, I like the way it feels. I'm all touching it. Hella it feels hella smooth. <laughs> I think that's the coating though. It's gonna be rubbing his car. I think it's the coating. Yeah, this looks good. Jesus, bro. Look at these wheels, boy. Man. I need these on my C6. Look at the brakes. Man, that brakes is huge. So this is built by Synergy, right? Yep. Yep. That's a, uh, my LSA is ported by Synergy. How much does this make? Nine, nine hundred thousand, somewhere around there. Yeah, about a thousand. Yeah, I figured. I feel like everything Synergy touches makes like, like one k. <laughs> they like one k minimum. <laughs> Sitting here rubbing his car. It's hella smooth, <laughs> dude. Feel that? Like, go feel it. More fill it. Fill it in a corner though. We don't want to leave too many fingerprints. It's clear, bro. So it don't even matter. Look, oh, yeah. feel that. Go like that. Oh. Just do it. Oops. I got hair. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Tell us off. Fill it right here. Cause it is. Might have to do clear bar. That way I can just start rubbing up against my car. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna walk around and see what's all here. We got stuck parking way over here. Everything's all scattered. We got nigga Aaron. I mean Black Aaron right here. We got Afro Thunder, Black Power, African Queen, right here. <laughs> Drove this here. We must stay off the arena. Holy shit. A Toledo. Bruh. So suck my whole dick. This was showed have been diesel. <laughs> Imagine pulling up next to this at the light. Whoa, he let the shootout on you. <laughs> he got the FD color, but in paint. Ooh. Man, this color is clean. Looks good, paint it. What part about coming to like old school meets and stuff like this is like you get a good idea of like some sick colors to, to select from. I'm pretty sure when we get to like the main show area, oh, somebody supercharged. But in a minute, I guarantee you, I'm like, man, I need to give me a nigga car. <laughs> nah, look at that teal. Teal, that's my color. <laughs> that's my color. Yo, me a soda. How you gonna, how I'm gonna owe you a soda for my color. Oh, dude, we said it at the same time, nigga. He got the Superman going on right here. Yes, sir. <laughs> shit clean, bro. Right on. Interior looks good. Appreciate it. For sure. This right here is the real town business right here. Yeah. And he got the LS. So he know what's up. Hey, it don't get no it don't get no more Oakland than this, the Fox body and the uh the old RX7, the one before the F the FC. Oh, yeah. Hey, my day one fans. Don't this look like the old SC color? <laughs> Don't it look like it? I was gone. <laughs> What's up with you, boy? <laughs> All right, we getting over here to the main part. Oh, they go to the man right there. Let's start. Man, they let they let you bring that old ass car. Ah! 
Hunter, remember you told me, 100K, man. 100K. 100K, don't forget that. Man, we're gonna walk through and see see everything. But it's hell. What's up, fool? The rawest little skater I know? A little saucy? I be seeing you. Look at this one. Oh yeah, this this is hella East Oakland too. Yeah, the Nash. This is real nigga right here. <laughs> hey, but look, that's original nigga. Clean, look, clean. Nigga this shit wet. Clean, <laughs> yeah, cause it's gonna break down. <laughs> what's good, nigga? What's up, little man? Say what's up. What's good? You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna give me none? Ah, uh, see. Oh. We the, we the same color and you acting like that? Yeah, come on. <laughs> same hair everything. Tear hella clean. So I love seeing old school stuff, man. They don't be they don't skip no steps when it come to when it come to rebuilding. This looks like the SE old color too. And it got the green bruh. Man. Nice, nice, nice. What's up man? How you doing? It's yours? No, it's my boy Louis. Who did the interior? Interior looks hella sick. It's all original. Original? All original. Really? Yeah. What? Damn, this is. These came like this back in the day? I didn't even know. 442? This is clean. Jeez. That thing loping over there. She over here slapping. Look her, her, look her glass flexing. She got a dump slap on you. <laughs> Jeez. Hey. Hey, that mother is wet. Fuel selling shit back there. See the drain? Yeah. Ooh, 200 grand. <laughs> You'd probably be like, nah. I, nigga, I see, I see, I see negative, uh, <laughs> what you call overdraft fees. <laughs> Hello, overdraft fees. I need an application. Ooh, look at this. this is, so, do set these, uh, this green interior is like OEM shit. I didn't even know. Yeah. What? Look, she didn't break down. Chopping up on Instagram, we tell her her shit gonna fall apart on the freeway. <laughs> People think just because they see on, on camera, like I'm gonna be talking shit to the, to the homies in the DMs, they don't really know, huh? This is hella clean, but let's go check out this red one over here. like 50% battery so I'm gonna try to shotgun show y'all a lot of the stuff that's here because remember we still got to go to Janky's we still got to go to um, works customs to get the pillar put on so we got a lot of stuff to do still so we don't want to run out of memory I don't care what nobody say you can't tell me that's not Millennium Jade from the GTRs definitely Millennium Jade <laughs> hella clean damn So y'all can see bro right there y'all remember this notch from the day where i had took uh i think i had took the 350 out he was out here with the notch his girl had ran uh ran down the drag strip but man it's always good seeing his car sat here and talked to him for hella long this car stupid clean on the bc forged wheels like clean ass notch oh look lsa these are my these are our peoples now these are our peoples we wanted them <laughs> Hella clean, God. Old school cars be looking hella clean, right? You don't see no really, you don't see so many clapped out buckets out here. It's true. Up uh, here we go, the lime green one. Y'all already know that's my boy Sykes when we first came in. That's what I was talking to. This is his green one. Look, LSA, nice and clean. But yeah, my boy Sykes car, the probably one of the quickest cars here. Y'all see them things? Scythe clean. 
this car on low boost makes like a thousand i think on high it makes like 14 1500 or some wildness like that y'all remember this one this is the one paradox wrapped yep paradox wrap on here Yeah, he wrapped it. Same color as his vet. All right, so just getting here to my boy Jenkins. You guys see that he has a whole new shop now. New shop, new location. Ready to do fab work. <laughs> so by the way, these uh, these little bongs on for the for the wide band gauges real quick. Where is the bongs? One and two. What the fuck's all over? I'm just dirt and dirt and grime. Road grime. Remember, it was at the body shop, fool. Oh yeah. It's I actually try. Actually try cleaning it. Like, but you can still see, like, right here. Look. Is that what all this is? This is all bondo dust. Yeah. Look at that. Dude, look at look how thick that is. Yeah, either way, we're just gonna make them on. Yeah, whatever. You know we're doing them. Did you say the N word? I said Megger. Megger. <laughs> you Megger welder? Megger rig it. Fuck it, we'll put them like this. Yeah, that's what you want. <laughs> that's the way I like to do it. Been doing it that way for years. Quick release. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you let it down, they release. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gotta take that much off. Fucking hater. I paid for this ceramic coating. Alright. Uh, I think we should take these ones out. Just so we're not welding them in there. We're gonna just zip tie them like right here. Yeah. Call it good. Like the beat shop? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll just, uh, we'll self tap them through the floor. I gotta screw the ground wire like into the battery. <laughs> through the floor into the battery. All right, we all on. This is kind of like the almost the last thing that we needed so we can get this thing on the dyno. All right, there it is, all done. Where should we? Coming down now. Then we gotta head to Works Customs and we're finally gonna be getting rid of that broken ass pillar right there. Took Jesse eight months to paint my new pillar. Can't rush perfection. <laughs> it's a big job, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all done now. So uh, next phase of this is to head over to Worst Customs and get that pillar on. Nita's over here bugging me. She wants food. <laughs> if we were to get rid of everything, you think this would be the one we keep? Everything? Yeah, what would you keep over this car? I feel like from a, a building standpoint, I feel like this car has so much of my personality and character in it. <laughs> it's like the wide body, yeah. the kit now, like this kit is named after me on the website. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's just like the car I couldn't walk away from. Potential to be one of the fastest ones. It's been reliable since we've owned it. You wanna try drive it? Go ahead, try pull it out. I just go straight. It's the exact same way as driving your car, but this clutch is a lot more sensitive than yours. I'm letting you know that now. No. Go ahead, slide forward, go ahead. Huh? Your first time moving out the 350.
run, go! problem. Punch is too high. <laughs> Last day of the booth pillar. Hopefully they match up. <laughs> what do you think, bro? Come on. How much of that paint we got left? <laughs> Shit, not much. I can make some more. Yeah back in action we're getting back in action i no longer look like a drift missile now all right there it is man new pillar on complete again <laughs> man that shit was bugging the life out of me y'all can see color matched up all right what's good what's good my peoples as y'all can see we are back home so uh, car drove, car drove fine. Felt like it did when it did, uh, or the car drove just as good with the blower as it did when it was in a, uh, coolant tents looked fine. Uh, we got the bong welded on for the O2 so we can get the wide bands and everything in here. Um, car feels good. I think this car is going to be pretty fast. Like in first gear, when I just blip it, like the car just like breaks loose. So, uh, we're definitely going to have to put this back on the, on the Archer Blades. But I mean, I wanna I wanna like finish it so bad like that way I can get on it. But like patience. Patience. Patience is key. I wanna risk melting nothing or blowing nothing up, so I didn't do any pulls, but literally when you just blip it, it's like wow like it comes on like quick. So this thing is gonna be nasty. I, I know this is gonna be nasty. Um it's gonna be hard to say, man. This car has the potential to be my second fastest car next to my uh, SC300. Um, it's going to be a close tie between the C5, the C6, and the, the LSA 350Z. So, man, it's going to be a it's going to be a good one. I mean, the the C6 is going to be quick, but I really think it, let's just say between the the C5 and the 350Z on what's going to be taking place is the the second fastest car in the lineup, and then followed by more than likely the uh, the C6, then. Probably the notchback or the 300ZX. I'm not sure which one's faster out of the notch and the 300ZX. So I don't know. It feels good to you know to have uh, cars with different levels of uh, power, but this one is probably like man, this is probably gonna be one of the funner cars to drive. This thing is uh, it just feels so torquey. Like even when you're like quarter throttle, just speeding up on the freeway, like it just wants to go. So I can't wait to see what this thing does when we uh, when we tune it. Right now it's on 91, so you know we're gonna do the, uh, the whole flex wheel setup. But I'm interested in seeing what this car does on E. I think this is gonna surprise me. This is my first root style supercharged car. Uh, I've always had like centrifugals or turbos, but this is the first root style uh, supercharger in the squad. So we'll see how we'll see how we like this over the over the next few weeks, whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna go in here, man. Uh, chill with the fam. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, like always. Love y'all. Hopefully you guys are having a good weekend, good week, or whatever it may be when you're watching this video. But yeah, we out, man. Deuces. <laughs> I'm about to do a 